Hi, I'm Trisha, an organic gardener here at the San Francisco Garden Show. I'm here with Susan Morrison, co-author of Garden Up, Smart Vertical Gardening for Small and Large Spaces. Hi, Susan. Hi, thank you for having me today, Trisha. Sure. So we're in front of this small contemporary space. This garden design is by Habitat Design in Palo Alto, and it's their contemporary chic design. And Susan is going to describe for us how we can create this and how we might modify it. Well, Trisha, oftentimes in a small garden, people think that they can't really do very much because it will overwhelm the space. But in fact, you can really pack a lot in and a contemporary design theme is a good way to do that. The key is repetition and to pick an element and repeat it. So in this particular case, the element that they've chosen is this beautiful square shape broken into blocks of color and then they've repeated that idea up on the fence, which also coincidentally gives you more growing space and what gardener doesn't want to have something like sure. that. Yeah. What if I wanted to replace some of the ornamentals with edibles? It's actually very doable, and in this particular design, even though they have chosen to do ornamentals in the boxes, the size of these are perfect for shallow-rooted plants like lettuces or herbs or even strawberries. And one of the things that I love about this garden is they've chosen to use very muted colors on the wall and on the ground, which makes this orange chair pop. Yeah, that looks great. So up here, I probably wouldn't introduce a lot of flower color. I would go with dark greens, or I might even introduce some dark purples, like a purple leaf basil would work, or red leaf lettuce, which would have the added advantage of picking up the color from the formium here, which I love. So actually, a lot of things would work beautifully grown on the wall. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I can see it. Now, what if I wanted to replace the shrubs with some edibles or maybe a fruit tree uh, in place of this beautiful tree here? Well, the key down here in the back of the garden, because the wall is so beautiful, is to choose something that's going to stay small so that it doesn't compete with this part of the design. So uh, dwarf blueberries like Top Hat might be a choice, or rhubarb, or even some lettuces would also work beautifully. And as far as the tree goes, you know, as, as you know, what's wonderful now is just about any fruit tree that you can get full size, you can get a dwarf version as well. Pomegranate would be great, kumquat would be great, citrus would be great, really just whatever you like to eat would be a perfect choice. Well, thank you so much, Susan. It was very interesting to meet you, and I love your book. Oh. For those of you that want to know more about vertical gardening, read the book, Garden Up.